Hello, this is Charles Tibby from the Ed Services Department, and in this tutorial, teachers will learn how to administer the SBAC practice test to students while they're using their Chromebooks. And students will be using the SBAC um, practice test on a secure browser that has been installed on the Chromebooks by the Technology Department. This requires the Chromebook to run in kiosk mode, so this is a little demo on how the students will access the test. In order to access the Smarter Balance practice test, there are a few configuration settings that students need to update before they actually get into the test. So the first thing that you want to have students do is go to the bottom right hand side of the screen and for the ELA test, make sure that the volume is turned all the way up. So once they get into the test, they aren't able to update the setting. So you want to have the volume all the way up. Then you also want to make sure that students are connected to the Wi-Fi. Once you've checked that, you will have them sign out of their uh, Google account. Students can also change the volume by pressing these buttons right here. Um, but that, once again, that has to be done before they get into the SBAC Secure Browser. So once students are back to the main page, they We'll click on the bottom left-hand side of the screen where it says Apps, and then click on the link that says Air Secure Test. Then they will choose their state. Some students might get a screen at this point that says Log into the Scholar Plus Network. You'll want to have them do that just the same way they do to get onto the network daily. And then you're going to have students click on OK. When the screen comes up, students will click on the link that says click here to go to the practice test. And this will bring students to the login screen. And for the practice test, the students will log in as a guest. So they need to make sure that this information is checked right here. Basically, they just leave it alone and hit the sign in button. And at this point, this is kind of similar to what the kids will see on the field test. So it's asking them to verify their information. But all we need them to do for the practice test activity is choose their grade level. And then click yes. And for the practice test activity on February 11th and the 26th, students will select either the top uh, grade, grade level math or ELA test. Note that this resource is available to students at any time, so if you wanted to later have them look at the performance task for math or English, they can do that uh, during class, at home, um, it, and basically they only need an internet connection to do that. So we'll go ahead and click on uh, the grade level math. These are some special settings, but for the most part, students will leave those alone. and then they click on start my test. These are test instructions and the help guide. Um, these are some of the shortcut keys and options available in the test system. And we also have some um, other tutorials that go into more detail on these tools. Then you hit begin test now. And at this point, we'll want students to navigate through the questions, answer as many as they can, but we're just really wanting them to get used to the format of the test and get familiar with the different settings. So um, more detailed tutorials are available that go over the settings here. Uh, know that you can always get to these on the help guide. And another important aspect of this, students have to at least answer something on one of these questions to move on to the next question. So it won't let them move on to the next question unless they answer the current one they're on. And if you have any additional questions, feel free to contact me at any time. Uh, you can click on this link right here, type it into your web browser. And this is the link to the online practice test. So once again, students can access this anytime during class or outside of class. 
and um, they can get to the web-based versions. Thank you very much, and happy testing.